Congo Bill is a 15-chapter film serial from Columbia Pictures that made its debut in 1948. Congo Bill is an adventuring animal tamer who is honoring his promise to help return a half-million-dollar inheritance to the hands of its rightful heiress. To do so, Bill must first locate the sole heir to the Culver Circus fortune that has been missing since her plane crashed in Africa long ago. Following rumors of a white queen who is head of a lost tribe, Congo Bill goes to Africa to search for Lorraine, the White Queen, and deliver the letter that proves she is the proper beneficiary of the Culver Circus fortune. Of course, there is the villainous trustee of the Culver fortune, Bernie McGraw, who will lose everything if Congo Bill succeeds and stops at nothing to deter his success. He even makes an attempt on a fellow trustee who is his own brother. Congo Bill's first appearance was in More Fun Comics 56 in June 1940, and he was created by Whitney Ellsworth and George Papp. Congo Bill went on to regularly appear in Action Comics alongside Superman starting in issue 37. That guy must be Superman. In Action Comics 191, April 1954, Janu the Jungle Boy, who had been living in the wild since the death of his father, a jungle guide, was introduced, and from then on, Janu was Bill's sidekick. Though this serial predates the introduction of Janu the Jungle Boy, the film does feature a native kid sidekick named Kala. This ball fun and hunting lions. The Whips, Rolling Boulders, Wild Tribesmen, and the Green Parrot Inn all seem to have had an influence on the Indiana Jones series. Also, there's a pretty awesome scene where Congo Bill wrestles a lion. Also, the not-so-awesome man dressed as a gorilla. Speaking of gorillas, eventually in the pages of Action Comics 248, Congo Bill would become one. Kongorilla was a golden gorilla that Congo Bill first met in Action Comics 228. When an old friend of Congo Bill's, Chief Kowalu, was killed in a fall from a cliff, he entrusted Bill with a ring with an image of a gorilla carved on it. The witch doctor claimed that by rubbing the ring, the wearer could switch minds with the golden gorilla, Kongorilla, who wore a similar ring for one hour. Congo Bill figures this is complete bunk, but wears the ring to honor his fallen friend. Later, when Bill is trapped in a cave-in and is about to accept death, his last ditch effort is to try the ring to which his amazement actually works. Congo Bill is in the body of the Golden Gorilla and frees his real body from the cave-in and goes on to combat evil as Kongorilla. This flick focuses a little too much on the circus setting in the early chapters and doesn't really get going until they move the story along to Africa, but even after some excitement and a few decent cliffhangers, most of the resolutions and the thrills are rather tepid. Thank you.